Yeah. The ring ruins are the most intriguing ruins I've researched, especially this one, the way it, part of it floats up there. You had the foresight to focus on all those special ruins and invite the survey team to take a look right away. Uh. I'm impressed, Chief Paya. Oh no. I, I'm no chief. I just couldn't refuse my predecessor when she decidedly passed the title to me rather than said, when she decided to, rather suddenly. I'm really a chief in name only, since I still have a great deal to... Hmm? Uh. Oh, is that you, Master Link? <laughs> I'm so happy to, I get to see you again. Chief of Kakugo Village. I'm overjoyed that both you and Princess Zelda are safe, Master Link. Uh? What? Princess Zelda is still missing? That just confuses the matter more. You see, I actually met with the princess not too long ago. It was immediately after the upheaval. Princess Zelda came here to Kakariko Village. She ordered us to stay away, far away from the ring ruin that floats above us no matter what. I saw her myself, the princess right before my eyes. She left as soon as she arrived and wasn't able to ask her anything more about those unusual instructions. We thought it was to protect the villagers from harm. This ruin does look like it could crash down at any moment. That's what Paya and I suspect, at least. Mm. But still, I know you would not misspeak, Master Link, especially on a matter of such importance. How confusing. Ah. Oh, my apologies, Master Link. I was so pleased to see you, I completely forgot common courtesy. Please allow me to introduce Mr. Taro, an esteemed member of the Zonai survey team. Ah. I invited him here to investigate the ring ruins that fell on our village. Ah. He has an incredibly deep knowledge of the Zonai civilization. He's even familiar with Zonai script. He is truly an incredibly talented individual. Taro. Nice. Oh. It's clear that the floating ring ruin that we were forbidden to explore is a unique and incredibly valuable find. Several more ring ruins with such a shape have fallen down around the village. Most have broken apart in some way. What's fascinating is that a stone slab with writing was found at each site. Deciphering the text showed that each slab contained... Rather interesting content, including mention of sages. There's still so much we don't understand. Aww. I think that perhaps the ruin floating in the air also has a slab that makes mention of the sages. Aww. I can't investigate, as that would go against Princess Zelda's direct orders. If only I could meet with her again. I'm sure I could persuade her to change her Aww. mind. In any case, I'm having trouble squaring your story about Princess Zelda with the Princess Zelda we met. If everything is alright, why won't she just show herself? Mm -hmm. She must have some reason. Until we find out Princess Zelda's true intentions, we have no choice but to trust her and leave that ruin alone. What are you doing here? Under Princess Zelda's orders, everyone is strictly forbidden from getting close to that ring. It applies to an archaeologist like me. It certainly applies to an amateur like you. The princess's orders? Princess Zelda visited Kakariko Village recently. Her orders were clear. Of all the ring ruins, this site is off limits. She left before giving any sort of reason why. Maybe she wanted to keep the villagers safe. Ruins aren't known for being structurally sound, after all. Okay. Who's this guy? I don't have time for rain. A sticky frog. This frog likes to cling to walls and hang out. It uses some set climbers used to cling to wet surfaces. Cory. Hmm, yes, what is it? I need to get back to my Sundelion investigation as soon as possible. I'm sure travelers will be coming to see the stone slab soon, and I just don't have time for this. Sundelion? It's a... Okay, yes, we talked to you. Oh. Where are you running to, though? Is this the stone slab? back here okay what's this ciphered slabs the stone slab at the southern ring ruin some translation notes who protect of hyrule from the demon king together king there were known as sages what i take from this is what is that it's about a facet of hyrule as a what i take from this is that it's about a facet of hyrule as it was in those days if i were to guess it somehow to fill in the gaps i'd go something like 
there were those known as sages who protected the kingdom of Hyrule from the demon king. Okay. okay. Does it rain on sky ruins? Um... Lord, I wonder if rain falls on the sky ruins. One more mystery to solve. Southern Ring Ruin Research Journal, Corey. Like the other Ring Ruins, those that fell to the plateau south of the village also held a stone slab with Zonai inscription. Curiously, we also discovered a flower growing in the ruin, the likes of which we had never seen. References in ancient texts revealed it was the Sundelion, a long, plant long and thought to extinct. We are currently borrowing from a local plum orchard for our cultivation efforts and hoping our studies prove fruitful. Note our investigation of the round device filled with strange objects has meanwhile come to a standstill. to talk to her while she's in here maybe nothing nothing mm. Corey, what is it? i need to finish my sundelion investigation before tourists get <gasps> look here see that's a stone slab uh. the text on the slab is from the zonai civilization so it's beyond me but our leader has studied the Zonai language pretty thoroughly and has an idea of what it all means. Mm. According to the stone slab in these ruins is, record, is a record of Hyrule during those ancient days. It says that some people called sages kept the kingdom safe from some kind of demon king. Mm. I can't remember exactly what the slab says. Why bother when the translated text is right over there next to it? Besides, my hands are full of the Sunday research. I don't have time to get into the weeds with sages. And the... mm. Okay. Mm. Yes, 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 yes. We have talked to you about that, mm. I know. So, wait, I read this, though. Huh. It's really not counting it as being red. I don't I don't get it. Still. A Hylian tomato, a fruit found widely from cold airs to warm climates. Full of nutrition and kind of a trendy kind of friendly. Use it to cook and recover more heart. to work. Oh. Zalix, hi there. You come all the way out of here to see the ring ruins? I'll be. Watch your steps so you don't fall into that chasm or get personal with any gloom. Uh -huh. If you just can't help yourself gloom eyes, look for our resident gloom specialist, Eva, by the tents. Somehow the chief here is determined to keep the ruins open for viewing. Just steer clear of the stone slabs and the ring ruins. Can't replace those stone slab. Uh -huh. Did you know five, kind of five ruins fell around here? They're called the ring ruins. We discovered stone slabs inside four of them inscribed with Zonai writing. Each slab tells a different story. The one in this ruin is about let's see mm. wind fire water lightning time and uh -huh. light that was it it says that people with powers like those could amplify them with secret stones to perform great oh. deeds if you want more than a synopsis you can take a look at the translated text posted near the slab the writing is so ancient that i couldn't begin to tell you how to read it but toro is pretty well versed in zone stuff so i had him write it down for me mm. what a shame we can't enter that floating ring i bet there's a slab in there packed with juicy information 
Gently, gently. Ah. I think a chasm would open so close to a village. This warrants constant observation. Zalus is leading the ring ruin investigation, so that leaves me free to focus on gloom. Ahem. Watch it. Ah. Don't startle me. Phew, that was close. I could have ah. fallen. I'm a specialist in gloom, not defying gravity. One false step, and that's the end of my research. Now what brings you here? Have you come pr for professional consultation on gloom, perhaps? What is gloom? Uh, Millahem, if I'm honest, even an expert like me doesn't know exactly what gloom really is. The depths, you know, the depths, don't you? The vast, dark expanse that these chasms lead to? Uh, anyway, one can find gloom all over the depths. It emerges from these chasms to taint the surface. Uh, Just touching it will steal your vitality, so watch out. Dreadful stuff. Unfortunately, that's about as far as my research has taken me. What if you get sick? <laughs> well, what's this? Are you asking because you're planning a trip down the chasm? What bravery. If you touch gloom and become unwell, come to the surface right away. That's the most important thing. Uh, Certain foods may help. I did feel better when I tried nibbling a yellow plant I found near some fallen ruins. Uh, I tried researching the plant to confirm my results, but I can't find any records of it. Come to think of it, I heard Corey discovered a new species of plant. Perhaps I'll ask her. What's the in Where's the uh, inn owner? The inn owner? Ah, the spacey looking fellow? He made the bed recently, but I haven't seen him since. Oh. Perhaps he went to that tent over there. He said he'd have an easy time finding because of the bizarre ruins on the spot. Uh, I wonder if he made it. It looked like he was about to fall asleep. Well, I was just there and I didn't see him there. The stone slab at the eastern ring ruin. Some translation notes. Wind, flame, water, lightning, and time. Light. Who holds the power? Secret stone. And that person dwell within power. Amplify. Great. Might. Display. The thrust of the messages on the slab is something about something called secret stones. Those who held power such as wind, flame, water, lightning, and light in time have amplified them with secret stones. They use stones to attain great might to accomplish their goals. That's what I'm guessing it would say if we could read the whole thing. Of conquerors. Yeah, I want stamina vessel. Yes. Important item that restores some of the stamina you lost to the gloom, increasing the size of your stamina wheel. Yes. It appears you still possess. I want more stamina vessels. All right. Go and bring peace to the world. You know what? I will. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, I guess I could have done that. Okay, so we've been to that ruin and that ruin. They said the sleepy guy was over here, I thought.
So there's one that's like way over here. There's one that's north of Lantern Lake. Oh, that must be the big one. And I can't go to that one. There's one over here, maybe? Interesting. Is this the sleepy guy? Where's the inn owner? Uh, I suppose you mean that confused looking fellow who seems like he needs a nap? Well, he took off somewhere. Last time I remember he was complaining that he didn't like heights. Try the tent of the big ring ruin above the chief's hall. The big ring ruin above the chief's hall. That's over here. They get mad at me if I go over here? Seems like they will. Hi, Amy Allison. I am doing all right this morning. Doing all right. Just trying to figure out where these ruins are and where this guy is. How are you doing? Where could they be? Hmm, did Perez send you? I'm Seguro. Nice to meet you. I specialize in studying the Sky Islands. I mean, look at all these fascinating ruins just dropping out of the sky. Great stuff, right? Uh huh? Huh, wait. You're not with the survey team. This is an official Ring Ruins research site. It's dangerous here for a civilian. <laughs> but if you're the sort of guy who comes all the way out here for curiosity's sake, you must be a researcher at heart. Since you're here, I'm happy to answer questions as, um, as long as they're about the Sky Islands. What are the Sky Islands? You know when you start daydreaming and stare off into the sky and then you go, whoa, a floating ruin? That's a Sky Island. Oh. Remnants of the Zonai civilization, like these ring ruins, have fallen all over. Turns out they come from the Sky Islands. Which means <laughs> the whole Zonai legacy is up there. The islands are untouched, so everything must be well preserved. <laughs> I'm not boring you, am I? Because I can go on about the Sky Islands forever. Go ahead, ask me anything. Anything live up there? Uh, We're not sure what lives up there, but we found new species of plants around the fallen ruins. And if there are plants, I'm sure other things live up there too. Uh, if you're interested in that sort of thing. Uh, Try talking to Corey. She's our resident plant expert. Right now she's trying to cultivate plants that were attached to the ruins. If that interests you, you should definitely ask her about it. I'm not boring you, am I? Because I can go out about this. Yeah. What makes you curious? Hmm. I want to know more about armor made with Zonai tech. 
Clothing and culture are tied together, and there's so much we don't know about either of them. So many mysteries. Anyway, the bigger the Sky Island, the bigger the settlements. We think some sort of cultural relic must be up there. Mm. But since we can't get up there, it's all conjecture. I'll have to con- I'll have to content myself studying the ring oh. ruins. If we don't have a way to get to the Sky Islands, at least not yet, I'd love to go someday. I bet the folks in Terrytown can improve the balloon. I wish I had a reason to head northeast. Oh. Okay. Oh. Uh, stream's going good. Stream's going great. Uh, just really chill, hang out Saturday morning, drink some coffee, play some games. Okay, so that. Is there really nothing else? Up here on this big one. So there's supposedly a guy's tent up here somewhere. What's inside here? Anything? Um, weekend plans? Just hang around. It's going to be a chill weekend at home. Just going to be, um, taking care of some chores, getting some cleaning done, getting ready for next week. You have anything exciting planned? Seems like a Korok would be here. <laughs> bye bye. Okay, so we've been there. There was nothing really here. Where is this supposed tent? Is this it? Oh, did I? Okay, hold on. No, we didn't go down here. Large Ring Ruin Research Journal. There are five ruins around the village, but what I call the large ring ruin is clearly the most impressive in scale. Though parts of it have collapsed, it is the only ruin to retain its circular shape. As with other ruins, a stone slab is inscribed with Zonai script found in the rubble. We have stored the slab in a tent at the nearby camp. Okay. Deciphered stone, besides the stone slab at the large ring ruin, some translation notes. The Demon King, vast power, no hope, victory, king's own life, managed, imprison him. Imprison, not indefinitely, prepare, demon, revival. We sages must leave our knowledge, future generations. Reading between the lines, the stone slab seems to be a record of how the king in those days challenged the Demon King. If I had to extrapolate the meaning, I'd guess it's something like this. The reigning king determined that they were no match for the Demon King and gave his own life to imprison the threat. The sages tried to leave something for the people for the future who would have to prepare for the Demon King's revival. <coughs> Gordy, wake up. Oh dear, oh dear, this isn't the place to go to sleep. Seguro's not far off. If you find someone's been sleeping on one of the stone slabs, a priceless artifact, I'll be the one who gets it. Stone slab. Yeah, I saw this. Okay. Yep, he's sleeping on the survey team. Discovered that stone slabs in each of the ring ruin sites here. They have found this one in the ruin above us. 
Our leader is able to read Zonai writing and says the text on the slab is a record of a historic fight, one that was between a great king of that era and the demon king. The ruler did not or could not defeat the demon king and instead imprisoned that mighty foe. The text also says that the sages who fought beside this ruler left something behind in case the demon king returned. Aww. It worries me to know this discovery talks about a demon king's return and here the upheaval has just happened. If only we knew what those sages did to prepare in case he came back. Ah, sorry, I didn't mean to think and fret at the same time there. You can read the deciphered writing for yourself. It's all right next to the slide. Where's the inn owner? Oh, the inn owner is him. That's the guy there. He came to change our beds, but then I realized he'd fallen sound asleep. Nothing wakes him up. I shout, tried shouting and then shaking him. Nothing. What's more, he decided to doze off on the top of this priceless stone slab. He's been saying truffle now and then. Maybe he's having a dream of eating a hearty truffle. I wonder if he'd wake up if he smelled one right under his nose. But it's hard to get. It's pretty hard to get a hearty truffle. They're pretty rare. I did find one, however. Huh. It's bobbing along that under that waterfall. I don't know if somebody dropped it from the tr dropped the truffle from there, or it floated in from somewhere else. Huh. I've got to do something about this guy though. Soon Saguro's in the ruins above, and he'll come back here eventually. Mm. Oh, hearty truffle! You're the only fungus for me. Do I have a hearty truffle? Can I, um, by type, okay. I'm just gonna have to look. Those are all monster parts. What's this? A hardy truffle, perfect. Sniff, snorf, a gentle aroma with a strong hearty undertone. My dear hearty truffle, I have you now. Aww. Ah, huh. Was was that just a dream? And where am I? Oh. That's right, I was changing the beds. Anyway, thank you for waking me up. I need to hurry back to the inn. Well, that traveler's going to be so mad at me. Out of the inn, updated. You found the inn's owner, Ollie, sleeping in a survey tent, team tent. You woke him up with a whiff of hearty truffle and you hurried back to the inn. You should do the same just to see how things are going over there. Well, we are also going to fly to this spot because they sure made it seem like this had another stone, possibly. Uh, hey, you. Oh, come here. <laughs> I guess I can't go there. All right, well, we'll go to the end then. We'll go wrap up this this storyline. Since we're already down here. Uh, oh, that's that guy. Hold on, where's the inn? I'm the sleepy one here. Hey, there you are. Sounds like I've got to thank you for waking this guy up. No more watching the inn for me. Here's a little something for giving me back my free time. A sticky elixir. Wow. It grants a high level slip resistance to keep you from slipping on wet surfaces. It's high abs absorptive ingredients make it a must have for sudden rainfall. <laughs> it's a high quality concoction made by four sticky frogs and a bokoblin horn. It should come in handy on your rainy day adventures. Oh. Right then. Now finally, to take that nap. I might even splurge on a soft bed. Oh, you're a customer, right? Thanks for waking me up with the scent of that truffle. I'll think of its aroma next time I drift off to sleep. Very much appreciated. Mm. That person on the survey team was telling me about that stone slab. Before I knew it, you know, the last thing I heard was I fell asleep, was that there was more stone slabs with writing on them. Well, the regular bed is 20, okay, yeah. Mm. 